The brain, in fact, changes as a result of these movements. Cells change, molecules change. The brain begins to function differently. So addiction changes us in real, fundamental ways. I ended up lonely as hell, tired as hell, hungry as hell, broke as hell, homeless as hell. I was, I was stuck. I was, I was stuck. Think of it now. An idea, a thought, can literally change your chemistry. A thought can change the way you feel. I really thought of, if I see you, I'm going to run you over. I'm going to kill you. I was so angry. Any dose of any addictive drug we know goes back directly to the pleasure center. And it triggers that craving again. I use anything. It's my skin. I'm gone. I'm gone. The good news is that a life free of addiction gives the brain a chance to be restored. My name is David Deitch, and I'm sitting here with seven people in recovery, recovery from addiction. And that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how we get started, what in the devil happens once we've gotten started that we get stuck, mm -hmm. stuck, and then finally, what does it really take to recover? What we have helping us understand this now is in the last few years, science has helped us learn new things, especially with our ability to look in the brain. And what we've discovered is that our brain, in fact, changes as a result of using it. That cells change, that molecules change, that in fact, the brain begins to take on a different structure and in fact begins to function differently. So addiction changes us in real, fundamental ways and I wonder if you might want to share how did addiction change you it just it changed me just into a from a decent kid from a good kid to a kid who just rebelled and didn't care and felt unloved and confused man you know and then from that you know the monster took over until I got clean once when I was younger I used to care I used to care towards certain things. If I see two people arguing, ready to fight, I was willing to get in the middle and stop them. As time went on, I just didn't, I just didn't give a damn. You know, it was so wet. When I was in um, high school, I was very popular, but I was the most insecure person there. And I had a lot of fear, and I was always scared, and I was always worried. And when I tried drugs, it seemed to take all that away and it felt great but eventually the drugs made me more scared and more um, worried about things and it, it tore my life apart um, addiction changed me tremendously inside I, I didn't have the ability to feel you know and, that, and I continue to use not to feel you mm -hmm. know whenever it would pop up um, it was fun in the beginning and it was it was hell in the end okay. it was a big price to pay anyone else total personality change this is what it was all about for me it took like pieces of my humanity away I didn't see them leaving but they were gone after a while and I was living at the level of an animal hmm. and I was justifying it in the end I had no morals no conscience and I had compromised all my values and my integrity um, I was willing and indeed did anything and everything that I needed to do to continue on with the addiction and unable to stop myself. Yeah. So I became the person that I hated and I had behaviors uh, that I despised and loathed. Well, look, those are just an example of pretty dramatic changes. 
And what we now understand is that some of those dramatic changes that happen in your life, something equally dramatic is happening in your brain. Now that's a normal brain. That's a brain that's being fed with glucose. It's lots of food being given to that brain so it can function appropriately. And if you look at the next picture, that's a picture that you see of somebody who's a chronic cocaine user. All that yellow and red is gone. Well, it shows you the brain is not getting fed. The brain isn't functioning the way it ought to be functioning. 